Hey, buddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI, where we're colonizing the whole empty world over here. And it's kind of a fun game. Like, this game started off tragically, okay? It was painful, dude. But it has now morphed into a kind of fun little adventure. Um, and, and I'm having a great time. I don't even know if I want to if I want to win. I don't even know if I care about winning. I'm just here, just having a great time. We're chilling making cities, having a good time. I will put a city in Cologne to see if I can trade with the capital. Uh, so Galalo is a pretty cool city. It could get a zoo. I don't even know if we need a zoo. It could get an archaeological museum. That'd be a nice boost to our culture. We really do need the science though. So if I could get like a plus two campus, that'd be swell. I mean, I'll get a plus one campus here. That's fine. Get that science up. I do think our best bet... Oh, we managed to steal from Lugdunum and escape. So people escape on foot. You'll be, you'll be back home soon. Uh, you have established and leveled up, I do believe. We will go for technologist. Stealing tech would be nice. If we could pull it off, we do need to also improve some of these tiles. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think I, think I will attempt... Maybe some sort of science victory. Uh, I will harvest this cattle to force this city to grow. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at mentally is, you know, the, the, this game and my best way to get out of it is probably going to be some kind of science victory. Like almost certainly. I will chop to get the preserve here. And the grove will take two turns of production and that'll give us a bunch of food on the adjacent tiles once we start getting the appeal up. I will send a builder down here to start doing that once we have conservation. I also want to get an archaeologist in some of these cities. So I may just go to wherever I have an archaeological museum. I don't remember where I built one. Is it up here? I should, I should have the ability to buy archaeologists somewhere. Was it here? Ah, there's a settler in the city. So I need to move the settler out of the city and then I can buy the archaeologist and then we can start to dig up some of these great works. I will place a camp here for the city of Cologne to work. Make sure we work that camp to get let it to grow. And we really should have a look at this land here. Make sure all luxuries are highlighted. Like we've got truffles here. We've got stuff there. Like it'd be nice to get the truffles. I think we could do some interesting things with truffles and preserves and having a good time down here in the south. So where can I settle near these truffles? I'm trying to use the radar scanner to like decide upon a place. I'm guessing here is like pretty okay. Yeah, I like this location. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll settle there, sure. Um, and then I need to explore this continent a little bit more to find more luxuries. We've got this stuff over here, salt and marble up on this little desert peninsula. All right, we'll cross those bridges when we get to them. I think the thing to remember here is that we just don't need a huge amount of settlements on this land. All right, let's go ahead and promote you to, well, I guess what we should probably do first is actually combine these together before we turn that into a field cannon. Uh, we've got another cuirass here moving. More settlers finished in the capital. We will continue to produce a few more. Uh, I don't know how many more settlers I'll get, but a handful would be good. We did just get the zoo in here. Any luxuries to buy? No luxuries to purchase, sadly. We could go for an archaeological museum in here, and I do like the idea of pumping hard for culture right now. I would like to get the military academy, but I think the market is just worth so much gold, like eight gold per turn and then 17 gold for the bank. That's absurd. It's so damn good. We did get the bank and piping plover. I don't know if we need the thing. We're getting the coal power plant in Dan. What are, what are, like, what are the chance that we win a culture victory? It's really low. Canada's culture is just insane. They're producing... 400 culture per turn, which is just ridiculous. So I don't know if we win a culture victory, so there's not much point in us going for theater squares. So instead, I'll just go ahead and get that campus going. I think, think science is our way out of this game. If we can, in fact, make it work. We did just grab an artifact. I will take a barbarian artifact, for sure. And you're in position to start planting woods, as are you. Let's grab Magnus. We're going to take Magnus. We're going to reassign Magnus to Heidelberg. And we're probably going to want a couple of settler or a couple of builders to head down towards Heidelberg to help that city out. Trading with Zanzibar would be cool. I would love to trade with the capital. That's amazing. So by trading with the capital, we will get a huge boost to the food and production in here, which will allow the city to accelerate to its potential really quickly. Um, I guess I can chop safely in here. I'll chop. That'll get us the half of the harbor. It roughly takes um, two to three chops to get a district. Oh, I think you can be safe here. You can clear this. That cavalry is a little scary. If you go here, he can double move to get you. So once you move there, position knowing how far an enemy unit can move is really important to keeping your own units alive. So it's kind of like a process you have to learn and understand. Let's keep siphoning cash from our good friends over here. All right, we took a little bit of damage here, but we will be able to clear this barber encampment. We got plus one error score there, as well as access to conservation, which is huge. So now we can build those na national parks. Uh, and more importantly, we can also plant woods in here to start getting these beautiful, beautiful preserve yields. 
um, which is going to be fantastic when we make that work. Okay, I think we would like to get mobilization. That would give me access to another, sorry, ideology is what gets me another spy. Let's go for ideology. We can start to think about our tier three government. Uh, we got the campus in here. We're very, very close to a golden age. I'm trying to think, maybe I could lay a city state. Caguana doesn't even have a military. Nan Madal. 400 gold. There we go. There's the levy. That'll secure the golden age. Perfect. Let's get that library up. Uh, you managed to finish the grove. Now I would like to get the sanctuary. Let's get the silver online. So we're looking at Nuremberg. What are we going to be building in this city? It's got a decent amount of population. Um, I do think that a harbor makes sense. That's a plus two harbor. I do think that a commercial hub kind of makes sense. We could do an aqueduct here with a Hansa as well. That's three districts. And then I guess a campus in the center here. And then the rest of that can all be production focused. Yeah, I like it. Perfect. So we know what we're going to do with our builders. Um, we can start placing the important districts for this purpose. So I don't want to place the aqueduct just yet because I'd rather chop that tile. We get those two districts down. I guess I will buy the Hansa tile. Boom. Let's go ahead and park our little city right there. Awesome. We're going to steal this, move you up to provide flanking bonuses, and then we'll kill you because by flanking, we'll take slightly less damage. You're positioning yourself to grab this. You're moving up here to bait, and you're about to grab a city as well. Okay, Monument Granary. Let's plan the city slightly. The best harbor is right there. Gold, I think, is a sign of, of what we want in these cities. Um, then I suppose we could go like water park. Kind of a cool idea. We could go commercial hub, go for the giga gold. I mean, a lot of gold is, is on the table here. I like that. This is this is the build we'll do in this city. It's not a great city. Don't get me wrong. It's a canal city that generates gold. Return on investment might be low, but I am having a great time playing this colonization style. Um, Alvar Alto, modern era, great engineer. He provides appeal to the local city. Let's move that settler along. You know, I'll put him into Heidelberg, sure. Let's keep on planting the woods. We got the lighthouse in Anonymous Snake. Let's get the field cannon, the Feld Kanonen. A ton of settlers heading out. We could go for this. I would like a campus. There is a plus two campus right there. Let's do it. Let's take a Matthias Corvinus. Archaeological work. We'll take another saw silver. And let's go back to stealing gold from Niani. Hell yeah. I'm going to start laying down woods and lumber mills in the city of Nuremberg because those are the tiles that I would like from this city. And you can go ahead and chop out that harbor and we'll slowly work on the lighthouse. We need to get more builders over here. A builder is arriving, which is exciting. And yes, jump up on land. We can get that city settled over here on the Tay. Kill this little uh, skirmisher over there. Oh, wow, I have an infantry. I guess I could just go do stuff with that infantry, like pick up tribal villages and things. Like, why not? Uh, we will get a little fishing boat right there. Beautiful. The city of Missana B needs a little bit of work. We will get to work on it. I'm excited about the golden age that's coming up. It's going to be really fun. My empire is gargantuan, dude. It's actually sickeningly huge. Uh, let's settle this city right here. We can get this kill, and then you should be able to retreat for a heal. We got the university and Michael McAtee. Let's go for the bank. Well, that's a 10 turn settler. I'll take that. 10 turns is about the benchmark that I want to be hitting. Um, let's get to work on the harbor in here. I'm down with that. I think I would like a preserve on this tile. Put a little, uh, you know, national park in between these two preserves. Kind of a fun, funky, quirky idea. Alvar Alto, go ahead and activate the appeal in this place. Why don't you get me the Monument and Granary? We'll plan the city later, but for now we'll just go for the Monument and Granary strategy. You have a level up, and I like the idea of surveillance, so you counter spy a little bit better. My settlers are in the water. Grab this tribal village that people have probably been screaming at me to get for several episodes. Let's go for the Barding promotion. We will shoot you. Not quite killing you, um, but we are in position to get that last city that we want on this continent. I have another caravel somewhere here, don't I? Where is that caravel? There it is. Yeah, so let's combine these together and then they can maybe go... Maybe you could become an ironclad for me. That would boost me attack. We do a little boosting. We definitely want a lumber mill right there. That's perfect. And you get into the water. Let's bring this cuirassier down to cover this. I'd also like to explore the potential of like doing a little bit of snow settling. Uh, it seems to work out quite well for me, my current situation. A thousand year flood has been mitigated thanks to the dam. And we did just get steam power. Let's make this into an ironclad. Uh, partially because this will boost the steel technology for us. And we do need as many boosts as we can get. I'd like to build three line infantry, and it would be nice to have that coal power plant as well. Let's get to work on steel. I have one guy who can become a line infantry. I'll need more gold, but we'll wait, we'll wait on that. That'll happen eventually. This can be a lumber mill, actually, because it's outside of the preserve, you know, needing to be, you know, special tile range. Let's grab this artifact. Very nice. We'll take a Lady Six Guy artifact as a chalice. Uh, we got some great... Can we do some theming here? Nope. Not quite. We're close, though. We're close to theming. 
I think a cattle tile is fine. It's a four food, one production tile. That's acceptable. Okay, we got a spy here. I think we were kicked out of Lugdunum, so and there's a thousand gold to be stolen there, so we'll send him over there to do that stealing. Um, you're going to step here. I think I would like to buy this tile and then use some Magnus chopping to speed up the development of Heidelberg. Um, let's chop out that settler. Shave two turns off it. My settlers have gotten really expensive now. Which is to be expected when you build a million of them. Um, and it actually looks like Canada is settling this continent from the east side. It's kind of fun. I think we just finished a coal power plant, which gets us plus two error score. Awesome. Levy on mass allows forming of this. You have this. So we did just get mobilization, so we can combine armies into armies. Units into armies, rather, is the, the term I was looking for. There. Let's go ahead and chop there. That'll get us a nice little boosty. I need you to clear this. Lumber mill on this side. We could also do a Cahokia mound here, which would give the city an amenity. Um, we are going to keep our empire at least neutral happiness. You're continuing to build builders. You could eight turn a settler, but I think your job is to produce me these extremely efficient seven charge builders. Now uh, we got the coal power plant in Dan, which is fantastic. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Wouldn't mind a stock exchange for all that cash. Sitting on a few envoys could put three into Muscat, and then that would bring these stock exchanges up to... Let me refresh the UI here real quick. The stock exchange is now a 29 gold building, which is disgusting. Let's get the bank for 17 gold. My gold income is just outrageous. I love it. We'll get the university in here. That's perfect. Nothing else really matters to me. I don't really need to upgrade or anything. I'm not trying to win either. I just don't... I'm, just, I'm having a great time, man. We're just chilling. If I win, I win. I mean, if I was, if I was trying to win, I would be beelining campus buildings and everything. I would be beelining um, research labs. But honestly, at this point, like, I've just had fun. All right, we got an ironclad. Let's send it up here to the north where these, like, barbarian galleys were. See if we can find anything interesting up there. Uh, we will continue to chop just to get infrastructure, and you're definitely going to get yourself a trader. And then we'll go Monument Granary, usual stuff. We'll figure out what we want to do in the city. I guess we could go... I mean, we don't have bad campuses here. We should probably build a campus just to help scale my my um, my um science. Just a smidge. Something to be said for, like, a farm triangle right there. All right, let's kill this guy. We have a settler out. Perfect. Eight turns on another settler. We just, we just got to crank those settlers out, man. I mean, it feels good to do... 11 turns and a settler in here now feels like a little bit too long. Um, I would like to also build that theater square. But really, I just need science, honestly. I think we just lost suzerainty of Nan Madal. I'd like to get that back because it's an insane amount of culture. Like, it's literally 60 culture per turn, which is ridiculous. Um, so we will build up Michael Frieda with a culture district. You did just get an archaeological museum. We'll go ahead. I could buy the archaeologist, but I don't want to. I'm going to chop this harbor, and then the overflow chop will go through to the lighthouse. We're in position to get another city down here, so we're looking... I mean, we've we've claimed, we've basically made a wall of cities here. So it's going to be difficult for the AI to try to settle through us, which is kind of the goal, honestly, is to is to is to control the new world. All right, we got a we got a truffle city down. Do I want to settle this city as well? I mean, it's a really good gold city. It's a great gold city. Like, do if we do city center here, we could do the harbor here. Then we could do the commercial hub right there, and then we could put the Hansa right there. Um, we could do like Cahokia amount again at this point i just i just don't care i'm just having fun man with this designing cool little cities definitely want woods here definitely want to kill that mine We've got to get that appeal up a smidge we can we can make the appeal in here work okay johanna has leveled up i think we'll go for ace driver that allows you to escape more easily if you're caught we've got a wave of settlers hitting the shore you're coming up awesome would love to chop out the Hansa. So let's do that. Then I would like to place the aqueduct. So a lot of my gold should be saved for buying tiles. Lubeck? Yeah, trade of Benjamin Saeed. That's perfect. That'll really help you out. Totally should get the whales online, actually. Be a great productive tile. Got my cuirassiers landing on the new continent so we can discover. Don't know if we want to settle any more north. Do we care? Not really. A lot of barbs and stuff up here that we have to deal with. And I just, I just, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I just don't feel like it. It's that simple. I Cree has declared war on me, which is interesting because no one else has. Just the Cree. So I'm not sure why he declared war. It was just a formal war. There's steel. So all my cities now have defenses, which means I'm easy, I, I, I find it much easier to defend my empire. So settling all these cities are easier to hold. We are at a golden age. Would have been nice to get Huck, Hicks, Sunt, Draconis. We will take... We're definitely taking... We could go for Bodyguard of Lies, but I think we're definitely taking Heartbeat of Steam here. Um, in terms of research... Let's go for chemistry. We should probably get research labs. I'm going to spend... Why am I getting no niter? Oh, this niter over here is broken. Okay, so we need to get this guy up here. And I need to buy strategic resources. In particular, I need niter. Yeah, I'll just buy that on the cheapest. Because now I can go... 
Uh, you become a line infantry. You become a line infantry. And you become a line infantry. And that will boost replaceable parts, shaving three turns off that tech, which is perfect. You got your campus. Let's go ahead and get working on the library. Sad that the library... Um, or rather, the scientific city-states have been killed. You got your lighthouse. That's amazing. Let's go ahead and get to work on the shipyard. We'll put a mine right there. Uh, lumber mill on this tile. Let's break this mine. We got a granary over in Adelaide. That's right. We wanted this city to grow. Um, I suppose a Ferris wheel is a reasonable take. And another Cahokia amount here would give this city even more amenities. I believe, I believe we're at the phase of the game where we can get two amenities. Uh, I want gold from you. So trade with Rome. That's perfect. Uh, trade with Rome. Perfect. Let's go for the siphoning of funds from the city. Oh man, a wave of settlers just hit the ocean. Like a literal wave. Well, not a literal wave, but they're on the waves, is what I'm saying, all right? Bang out a cute little city here for a settlement on this continent. Uh, what am I going to do with this city? I'm thinking like a preserve here feels like kind of cool. Feels neat. Um, I feel like a harbor is kind of cool. Maybe a commercial hub is kind of cool. Maybe we could instead do like a campus. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I like this. We'll develop this further. Maybe we'll maybe we'll skip this. Definitely go harbor first and then get some builders over there. In terms of governor titles, I don't really have anything to spend on. I guess I'll take space initiative because that, that is technically how I plan to win the game for a given value of winning the game. <laughs> yeah, as far as I'm concerned, the fact that my empire still exists after that horrendous early game, uh, I've quote unquote won. Plop down a little little city right here in Leipzig. All right, let's see if we can sell off our coal, our aluminium, our iron, all this stuff that we don't need. Except for, well, we can sell the niter now. We'll sell you. That's 100 gold per turn. That's 35 gold per turn. I'll take it. Six gold per turn, 29 gold per turn, and two gold per turn. Awesome. So we just massively increased the amount of gold that we're making from the AI. Beautiful. All right, the Kree are on my border with modern armor. Modern armor armies. So what I really need is like flight to get some biplanes and fighters and stuff which means I need oil. Annoying. Let's get flight into refining. Maybe we can get a little bit of oil. I don't know why he's at war with me. Does he just really want this city? I, mean, I super don't care about this city. Um, let's blast here. We could gold purchase artillery. I think it would be good to get an ironclad or a privateer. Privateer could shoot. What about a frigate? We don't have the niter for frigates, sadly. We'd have to buy niter. Let's get the privateer and let's get something else can i sell maybe some diplo favor some for some raw gold there we go and i'll buy a artillery to shoot a little you know get rid of the boats do all the things we need to do um sure monument granary work on those things you got interrupted oh wow um let's make some mounted arms armies these should be slightly better at holding off these tanks move you to there move you to there consume his soul you move to here you consume his soul we don't have the money for a field cannon that's okay why don't you move to here you can shoot him you step forward can join souls uh the good news is the galley does not take damage from attacking embarked units so that's kind of really useful way to get like a little bit of free damage on him what have we got plant a woods nice and then probably want to plant plant some woods here too i'm gonna buy this tile i can't afford it can i sell something come on a little bit of cash i can buy this tile now perfect Oosh. start planting uh, we can also chop here, and I would like to overflow that into the aqueduct, I guess. I guess the watermill aqueduct. Well, the watermill and granary need to be built eventually. It'd be nice to capture this area. Right. I think I'll send another settler down to the south. Like, I'll just keep, you know, we're just schmoozing. We're just schmoozing along, having a great old time. Let's gain sources in the city of Niani so we can continue to gold steal there. That would be beautiful. Oh, damn. Uh, city took a lot more damage than I was expecting it to. Maybe we can kill that. All right, that's him gone. I don't know if this thing survives another round of those attacks. Um, you made it onto the shore. Can't quite afford to turn these guys into line infantry. Move to there. Eat his soul. We can get a little bit of damage on him. Barely plinking away at him with archers. Uh, we got the bank here in Travis. That would be a Travis T. Was that a seven turn settler? 17 turn settler. Okay, I misread that. Um, honestly, this is a city that I got for free, so I really don't care if I lose it. It's like whatever. It would be nice to get an alliance with you. But he does not want to be friends. That's life. Sometimes people don't want to be your friend. Oh, nice. We've got a shipyard in a single turn from a chop. Little forest placement here. This doesn't look like high enough quality land to really bother settling. Like, we really want just lux luxuries and stuff. Like, there's oranges here. Orange, you grade him, not a banana or something. I don't know. It's like a classic joke. Knock, knock, who's there? Orange. Orange, you glad I'm not a banana. I really feel like the delivery is what sells that joke. He's got to deliver it as like dryly 
apathetically as possible. Okay, we got the shipyard in Hedelberg. Maybe we'll just make this into a gold city as well. I mean, the gold generation is, is nice. Like, the sick amount of gold that we're making. I just don't know what to do with myself. Um, really need to kill this tank. If he promotes, it makes my life hard. But we can maybe work with that. Honestly, it's just a matter of, like, six turns that I can piece him out. I mean, he took back his city. But you can have it. No, don't care. Super, super, super do not care. I had invested very little in that city. Uh, both economically and emotionally. Grab that. Move that there. Scoot, scoot. Scoot in a boot. Let's keep on scooting. Doodle doodle. Oh, hey, a uh, free builder from Muscat. Yoink, two charges. I'll take it. Ironclad found some enemy ships. Go ahead and start clearing out this North Sea. That's why I combined them together and I turned them into an ironclad because I wanted to play around up here. Oh, wow, a submarine. We've got enemy subs. Run, dude, before they break out the dubs. Uh, looking at the city of Dan. How's the flooding going, by the way? Yeah, the world has started to flood. It's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. We got some problems. I got a galley. Where'd that tank go? Oh man, wait a minute. Did he leave himself open to potential death? This would be a major defeat if we attacked here. That is so much tankiness. I really just want to be at peace with the Kree. Is that a thing that I could just ask for? Can I just be like, hey, bro, stop fighting me. Let's, let's just move on with your life. Move on with your life, bruh. We'll try and chase him down. We will never surrender. All right, little forest here. Oh man, look at that. Now that is a set of tiles. That's going to give this city Really juicy growth, really juicy culture. A little bit of faith. I'm gonna carry us through the late game. You know, you know, you know. Uh, we will be chopping here. We will also be chopping here. We will be lumber milling there. Can't plant a lumber mill here, which means there's probably uranium on that tile, which is fine. It's a totally acceptable thing for there to be there. Or aluminium. I haven't discovered aluminium, but I don't know. Can that spawn on grassland hills? No, it can't. If this settling was happening like a couple areas eras earlier, it would have been so based. But the fact that it's happening now is like, it's literally me screwing around. <laughs> I would like to settle the Matterhorn. I might literally settle on the Matterhorn. Or maybe one tile off of it. Ooh, but if I settle on it, I get the sick campus right here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this tank is running. Let's shoot there. Shoot the tank. Can we get the kill? It says major defeat, which means it's unlikely we will kill him. Let's... See if we can't get ourselves another pike and shot. Eat his soul. How are you looking? Still a major defeat. Not good. 30 combat strength above means you lose. <gasps> Ranger? Perfect. Ranger won the day. See, I knew buying units would be useful. Um, Settler? My settler. Oh man, we're still producing settlers. At this point, it's pointless, but I will not be stopped. Um, Do I want to settle in and around here? I mean, there are citrus tiles. We'll just keep advancing. Owie. There's flight. So we can do some flights. Do we want to go domination here? It's an option. If we want to just go kill the world, I mean, it, it is a thing that we can do. I just, I haven't really decided upon how I want to win this game. Um, we did just get an amphitheater. Let's go for the archaeological museum. Um, there is a tank here. We would like to block him. It's going to be hard. Uh, we'll shoot this guy. You should get into the city and shoot him. You'll do a slight bit of damage. Actually, you did a fearsome amount of damage because these guys don't really have that good on the defense. Right, what do you got in terms of... For me, oh, it's nine turn settler. How could I not take you up on that deal? It's a nine turn settler. We've got so much land to still occupy. We do a little Cahokia mound right there. Um, get me another builder. What are you doing? You got me an archaeologist. May as well put him to good work. Um, we got to get that campus in this city. I, you know, just put a little campus there. We'll see about getting the buildings. Um, wouldn't mind a campus in this city. Gonna just plonk it somewhere like this. You got me a market. Go ahead and get me a bank. We will shop and chop and then we want to go for the preserve so that'll take a little bit of work i definitely want another builder down here in the city of heidelberg uh i will take a john curtain artifact that's beautiful johanna has leveled up um yeah i'll take a linguist why not complete all your missions 25 percent faster that's fine much better if you're stealing tech than anything else um let's go ahead and send trade routes from my capital to other cities that to me feels like a good move we're probably gonna go communism this game or something I don't know, we'll figure it out. I have a plan. I have a plan in mind. One could say it's a five-year plan. All right, let's go ahead and settle this settler. There's plus two error score. We will place the harbor, because that's the natural progression for this city. And then we can kind of swoop in, get the alpine training bonus. Boop. On all these units. Whoa, little scout running around there. Governor title? I mean, I guess we could technically promote Pangala to maximum level for that plus one error score. That's fine. We don't really have a use for many governor titles anymore. We've kind of hit our late game build, you know? Well, let's go ahead and build a plantation. 
The only thing about having like a Giga Empire is that getting through turns takes a while because you just have so much shit to do. All right, Portia, welcome, my good friend. Let's siphon funds with the con artist promotion and we shall continue to siphon cash from our enemies. Interestingly enough, we did find a uh, field cannon army down here to the south. Are you ready for peace, my dude? All right, two more turns and then he'll he'll maybe back off. He's killed a lot of my trade routes, which is, you know, it's slightly annoying. But I mean, at this point, I've dealt with so much bullshit in this particular game of save that I'm just, I'm, I'm above it, man. I'm beyond it. I'm above it. It doesn't affect me. I'm free. So we finally have ideology. That's going to give us the ability to construct an additional spy. It also leads us towards some really powerful late game cards. We are going to go for communism this game and we are going to build the uber capital. We are going to build the fattest capital in human history. We are going to build the mega capital, the giga capital, the uber capital, the the omega sigma variant uh, we're building neighborhoods is basically what I'm saying. We're going to be starting to build neighborhoods. We're going to centralize so much food in here. I should have put Alvar Alto in the city. So with neighborhoods, we need to increase the appeal of the local area. So we're going to be planted down a whole bunch of woods. And we're going to try to make that work. So that's why I'm building all these traders and I'm going to be re-centralizing them to the capital. Definitely want to have economic union in. I think I'm done buying settlers. So I'll just plug in economic union. Um, I definitely feel feel like gunboat diplomacy would be sick as hell right now. Leve and Mass is a nice 50 gold per turn, but is it that good? It probably is fine. We could take it. And the rest of this I'm okay with. Like, it's fine. All righty then. Go here, grab that artifact. I'll take a Lady Six Sky artifact. Any chance of a theming here? Let's go theming on artifact theme. Ooh. We're very close to theming both of these museums. We're right on the verge. We will need more archaeologists um, to make it work. But I think I think I think it's a you know it's within the realm of viability. Oh, I forgot to chop the marsh off this tile. Well, that's that explains why I couldn't build a forest there. I'm a big old dummy. Let's move you forward. Let's kill the stronger unit because he has 56 defense strength, whereas this thing only has 43. We can swoop in here, grab that, and then get the kill. Um, would love to get these oranges inside my borders. I got a whole bunch of settlers, man. I don't even know what to do with them. Oh, jeez, man. I don't know what to do with all these settlers. Rick. Uh, Benjamin Saeed, you can get a trader. You can also get a trader from here. Um, we're going to start planting forests in the capital. Keep getting me traders while it's still available. We need as many as we can get in the capital. All right, what have we got going here? I would love to have Susan Tree of Nan Madal back because it's worth so much. So we will fight for that. We'll plonk down a little fishing boat. Uh, I think the Cree would like to make peace now. Yeah, 16 gold per turn. You can keep the city. I just, I super do not care. I just like absolutely could not care less about that. So the goal is in the next episode, once we have communism, we're going to start using a collectivization with an insane amount of trade routes in the capital um, to just create the giga capital that will like make uber yields. Um, so we want to actually organize by food here. And we're going to be doing internal trade routes to ourselves based on the food. Yeah, that's like the whole plan. we got the bank over here in Christina. Now that we're heading into the Uber late game, why don't you just go ahead and do commercial hub grants? There's probably things that you could do that would be useful for my win condition. Like if you got me a stock exchange, that's 22 gold per turn. That would be useful. I think 15 turns to do. The shipyard in Joe Wigan Ostigan has been essentially completed. We have the campus. Wouldn't mind getting a Hansa for a bit of Danza. Now let's buy all of these tiles. We're immediately going to get a naturalist. I'm also going to do a, a devious lick over here. Yoink. And get myself another naturalist because we can get another national park. Um, and we're getting these national parks for Aeroscore and for... The word is the bird. We're going to counter spy on this. Th th we're doing it for... Oh my god. I have completely forgotten why we're doing it. It's for Aeroscore and Amenities, right? That's why we're building those. Because we're, we're light on amenities in this game. All right, we definitely want the dyes and we want the salt. So I think right there feels like a good spot. In between the dyes and the salt. The salt is to die for. <laughs> uh, I feel like I do the crazy laugh like pretty well. I feel like I feel like there's certain things I do well. Uh, and most of it is your mom. Woo yeah. Anyway, um, we got ourselves a little builder here. We do a little building. So where will I settle this city? I think maybe on the citrus. On the citrus feels kind of neat. Yeah, I like on the citrus. That seems cool. Uh, more trade routes completing. Oh, don't mind if I do put them into the capital. Uh, so taking a look at this city, there's really nothing left for us to do in here, except for just like the campus research grant. 
focus on science. I mean, once we have research labs, we'll build that. But yeah, until then, it's just like, whatever, make science. Is anyone winning a culture victory at Curiosity? Let's have a look. Uh, Canada might win a culture victory. What's his tourism like? Let's have a little, uh, make about 500 tourism per turn. Yeah, he might win. Eh. Again, like I said, this game has just been so chaotic, so weird, that like if if I'm able to even remotely pull back and win this, it'll be fun. And I wasn't even trying, like because I was, you know, I've been screwing around for like the last God knows how long. Let's make sure we take as many tiles into the capital as possible. Okay, perfect. We already have them all, like a Pokemon collector. You ever wonder if some of the Pokemon are like semi-sentient and that like they have their own language and society and they're just really confused as to why humans are treating them like they're like, you know, inanimate objects. Um, yeah, okay. We have finished a national park here, which is great. Starting to see the dividends. The word dividends is really fun to say fast. Like if you just say, I want you right now, if you're listening to this video, I want you to say the word dividends really loud. And then I want you to go open a portfolio and start dividend investing. Do you know why? Because some investing is better than no investing. All right. Get your dividend. Uh, let's build a Cahokia mound there. That's quite cute. I don't know. I, a dividend investing is kind of fun and cool, I think. It's just, it's, it's, it's more of a toy than a real investment strategy. I mean, it's a valid investment strategy, but it's like not optimized, but it's really fun. Because the fun thing about dividends is you get like the little, little payment every few months. And that's something I really enjoy. Like I'll be like floating around and I'll just check my thing. Now, I don't, I don't have that many stocks, right? But I have a little, I bought a little bit of a uh, little bit of housing stuff. REITs and uh, you know two three four times a year I get a little little dividend of like a hundred euro um, which is quite cute um, it gives me a strange sense of satisfaction all righty we're up to 30 surplus food in the capital that's great the piping plover again just straight up go to the campus research grant that's all we need you to do uh, you pop in there make that national park oh it's beautiful BEA beautiful let's buy this tile we can then chop to finish the preserve we can overflow produce into that grove and then we can overflow chop into the sanctuary and that'll be a fun way to make these snow areas a little bit more productive uh, we definitely want to get down as many woods in the capital as possible because we want really high appeal for better neighborhoods and we also want like a certain amount of production from our population but the goal is to basically build a giga crammed city filled with like dudes pops like humans all right settle here boosh Little city of Rostock. Settle here. There's a Stuttgart. Now is the moment that we thank the Patreons. Patron, patrons of the channel. Sambat Vong. Chris Martins. William Davies. Kevin. Stephen. Tyler Johnston. Steve. Mark. Cthulhu's mum. Oh, this is an opportunity, by the way. If you want to be on the naming list, you can, you can literally put whatever you want in there. Callan Chitu. Manuel Gartner. Rob Edwards. Florian Gaba. And Stephen Carpenter. Thank you guys so much for supporting the Patreon. Maybe I can squeeze in one Sam Fry. Oh, I messed up the typing. And Sam Fry Hyder. Thank you guys. Uh, but I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to say I love you all very much. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. I said it all backwards, but you know, that's Siv. Bye-bye.